So yeah, here I am in the amazing Lovran, small village, 45 minute drive from the Italian border. And uh, I'm gonna show you this little village. It really is beautiful. Um, so much going on. I mean, in the summer, this place is a heaving little uh, destination full of tourists. And to be honest with you, I've only seen Croatian. So oh, I met a couple of uh, Austrian people last night, but generally speaking, uh, predominantly Croatian here. Um, I haven't met any English people yet. I'm sure that will come, but for the moment, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm happy with the Croatian people. I love them. They're beautiful people, really friendly, really welcoming. And uh, as you can see, today I'm showing you Lovran, a uh, little village on the uh, Croatian coast. Um, you won't find white sandy beaches here, but the beaches are absolutely stunning, beautiful, um, clean. I mean, there's little rubbish boxes everywhere, places to put your cigarettes, uh, toilet convenient, toilet, public toilet facilities. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. I love this place. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the town, uh, the village centre as well, town centre, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, and then we're going to go for a, a lovely meal in a street food restaurant called Kavana. Um, I've heard a lot about this restaurant and I'm so looking forward to this one. Really excited about this one, really excited about this one. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, the thing I like about it, when it says street food, you know, you're not... How can I explain it? Street food is street food, you know. Uh, gives you that impression you're not going to get ripped off basically you're going to have the basics you're going to have you know good price good food and uh, hopefully good time as well moving along I mean these the, this this country is just so clean and the people look after it you know there's bins everywhere uh, places to put your rubbish and it's absolutely spotless you know you can't um, you can't fault it on cleanliness that's one thing for sure and I love that you know it shows that people have got a little bit of respect um, you know when it comes to litter and uh, nothing like uh, pissing in the drinking water is there and as you can see down there they've even got uh, cubicles for getting changed I don't know what the toilet facilities are but yeah if you want to get changed there are amenities for that as well and all these little um, little outlets that you can use if you come down here for a day in the summer and it's hot and you want to go swimming you know uh, that's a fine example this little cove here which is like a mini homemade beach but absolutely suffice you know for a lovely day out again a little cove for changing and look at that some steps going down to the water and the water here is so clear it really is crystal clear and really clean yeah, just beautiful Phenomenal. Marvellous. And the more I walk along the beach, the more I am surprised a little bit more. I mean, look at that. They've even got table tennis tables on the beach and a little shack where you can obviously get the bats from. Um, fantastic one of my favorite games table tennis I do like a good game of table tennis and uh, yeah a little beach shack you can get a, um, a few drinks if you want to they've even got a dog beach look at that how amazing is that you know so I suppose 
there are beaches that ban dogs so uh, having a beach a dog beach is quite appropriate Texas I Ica Texas 9083 kilometers I won't be walking that far today I'm afraid sorry about that but we will be heading towards that fantastic little restaurant you can see on the beach there called Cavane Cavane something like that and so as we head into the, the small village um, coming off the beach you can see small restaurants this one's called the cafe bar sunrise and uh, yeah you can sit here have a beer have a coffee and heading into the village itself this is a quaint little village really quiet um, about four or five bars from what I've seen so far uh, quite a lot of restaurants many of them predominantly seafood uh, all absolutely fantastic a lot of building work going on I think you know that could be um, repairing damage caused by the 2020 earthquake uh, that shook this little country there's another little restaurant here which was one of my choices but we're going to the Kavana today the Ulaika definitely worth a visit what do you like her huh what do you like so yeah another little rooftop bar you can have yourself a coffee or a nice cold beer if you want to head up the mountains there's a little road there be a lovely little drive up the top of those mountains So yeah, basically this is Lovran. Small little coastal village in South Croatia. 45 minute drive from the Italian border. So uh, if you fancy popping over to Italy for the day, it's an option. It's there for you. So yeah, moving along into this fantastic little village. Um, as I say, there's about, what I've counted, about 10 bars here and probably about 20 restaurants. A lot of them specializing in seafood, which is quite understandable considering we are right on the beach. Uh, and the restaurant we're going to today is called Gavana. Um, street food restaurant high-end street food restaurant and yeah I'm really excited about this one looking forward to it A little boat tour boat out in the water um, so yeah really looking forward to this little restaurant I've heard some good things about it um, we'll check it out settle in grab myself something to eat and see how we get on so yeah today we're going to the Kavana restaurant uh, predominantly seafood so it would be rude not to try some seafood and there is a picture of their menu I'll let you read that in your own sweet time because if I read it, we'll be here all day. 
Morning, are you open? Yes. Can I just take a seat out the front somewhere, is it? Yeah. Okay. So there you have it. I can choose my spot. I don't have to sit where I don't want to. And we're just going to go to the end and check out there. See ya. Ah, good morning, how are you? Lovely day. Some of the uh, friends I met last night uh, get slightly lubricated with me. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? And there you have it. Absolutely stunning coastline or patio in the distance, Rieka in the distance, loads of mountains. Yeah, fantastic, beautiful. So, here I am today in this absolutely fantastic little setting um, the Kavana restaurant, seafood restaurant, street food restaurant. I'm going to call it the Kevana restaurant because it's pretty damn close. Um, as you can see, fantastic little setting behind me. Um, the mountains, the beach, absolutely breathtaking. And really looking forward to this one, really excited about this one. I'm going to try some seafood today. Uh, if I do get some service, which tends to be a little bit slow around here. But, you know, that's the way it is. C'est la vie, c'est la vie, as they say. Um, I'm not in any hurry, so take your sweet time, but if it does take too long, I'll go and give them a little nudge. <laughs> Let's just sit and wait and see what happens, and hopefully, uh, yeah, we should get some service in a minute. Can I have a menu please, my dear? And can I order some drinks, some beer? Yes, beer, big. Uh, big one, yes please, thank you very much. So, I've got my menu. I'm going to ask for it. It's going to walk straight past me, but there you go, you know, it's the way it is sometimes. So, yeah, I've got uh, quite a fair choice here. Uh, it's also in uh, English as well, which is good. I do like to learn the local language when I go places, but. I haven't had time on this occasion, on this occasion, so uh, English does help. And the prices range between 10 and 15 quid. Um, there you have it. The Kavana, Kavana restaurant. Um, don't know how well you're going to see this, but some prices and some of the menu. So I don't often order seafood because uh, I do like my meat, um, but on this occasion. It's going to be seafood because we're right by the sea and you can't get it any fresher than that and this place is renowned for its seafood so seafood it will be oh, now that is so refreshing and on such a lovely setting as well what more could you ask for well i've had a look at the menu 
they bought me my beer and look at that we even got some bread they bought me some bread to start off with and uh, as soon as I get attention of a waiter I'm going to order my food they are a little bit slow on the um, on the uptake on that one but hey ho when in Rome do as the Romans do so this fantastic little fresh bread to start off with I'm not going to tuck into it too much because I don't want to fill myself up. I'm going to save it for my soup. Mm. Beautiful. worth waiting for, eh? Mm. It's taking this long to order my food. I dread to think how long it's going to be before it actually comes to me. I might go and help them in the kitchen in a minute. And obviously not even busy, you know, I mean, it's, you know, end of season, quiet, um, maybe they're tired from a busy summer. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so I would like to order a fish soup. Yes. For starter. Yes. And then the um, tagliatelle with sea fruit. Okay. What is the sea fruit? Is that prawn? Calamari, calamari. calamari. Uh, mushrooms, and scampi. Fantastic, I'll have okay. that then afterwards. Okay. Brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, voila, thank you. Voila. So I did learn how to say thank you, which is voila. And um, Bogodan, which means how are you? And um, that's about it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still trying. To, I did learn a few other things, but I was I was a little bit lubricated at the time, so I had a tendency to forget them by the morning, <laughs> as you do. So anyway, I've ordered my food. I'm having a fish soup, and then I'm going to have a tagliatelle sea fruit, sea fruit, not seafood, sea fruit, as they call it, which be interesting to see what that has in it um, and my pint of Ozojusko beer which is a traditional local beer well traditional Croatian beer should I say oh, I'm in heaven I really am in heaven I mean look at it what a beautiful little setting beautiful day and I've got a shirt on, I'm absolutely comfortable, it's, it's you know, not too cold, it's beautiful. Yeah. Happy to be alive. <laughs> so, absolutely fantastic. My fish soup has arrived. Um, don't really know what I'm supposed to eat it with because all I've got is a knife and fork and I don't think that's going to be very good for eating soup with. I'll show you my soup anyway. there you have it. It's my fish soup. It's got prawn and uh, mussel in it and a bit of fish of some specification. A few bits of rice battered around as well. There's my fish soup. Um, very nice too but unfortunately I can't eat it because I don't have a spoon. Unless I'm missing something I don't know.
so if I wait any longer to find a waiter to get a spoon, uh, my soup's going to be cold. I'm going to start by dipping my bread into it. Again, again the dish it's served on is cold, which really upsets me because it means your food doesn't stay hot for very long. Very nice soup though. So much better if I had a spoon. God, just can't really get a good swing at it with a bit of bread. Bread's great for mopping up, but not for eating the whole dish with. Just as important as the food is the service in my book. It's letting it down. Terribly. <laughs> There's literally no waiters about. No one to ask. The fact they've actually forgotten my spoon in the first place, a bit worrying. Um, I'm said to see end of season, so it's not really even busy. It's not as if it's busy, you know. Uh, uh, disappointing. Thank God I've got a good view to look at because something to uh, watch whilst you're waiting, isn't it? Okay, thank you very much. Sorry, Cheers. Yeah. No problem, thank you. So I've now got my spoon and uh, get a true taste of what this is like. Yeah, mm. yeah.
Dve minute si mi zlao. Ma daj. Ište, evo, dve minute. Čekaj, evo. Fish here, carrot, chopped parsley. Beautiful soup. Nice and light. Very fresh. Very fresh. Cut a little langoustine. Mm. I do prefer prawns myself, but langoustines are okay. So, with the artillery out of the way, I get stuck into the rest of the city. Beautiful. bread to mop it up with. Fantastic. Seasoning stock, or one of those stock cubes that you crumble. It's probably made with a fish stock. You can taste it. Beautiful. The way it should be. Mm. Put the last bit up with this bread, which is what bread is predominantly full. Fantastic.
So my seafood linguine has arrived. Again, flakes cold. Um, not a lot to it. As I say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. gladly say that is one of the best linguinis, seafood linguinis I've tasted. Mm. Eating al fresco does have a tendency to make your food go cold <coughs> quick but Apart from that, divine dog's bollocks. This is absolutely dog's bollocks. Divine, beautiful. Mm. Well, I'm going to finish eating this, and at the end, I'll give you my unbiased opinion, my review, and what I thought of the meal. One thing they guarantee in this restaurant and that is any seafood you have was swimming in the ocean 24 hours ago. That's always nice to know. So my bill has arrived. Which is uh, 150 kuna. Beer was 25 kuna. Starts at 80. Uh, sorry, the bread was 8 kuna. Starter, yeah, thank you. Very beautiful, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, the main course was 80 kuna. 50 quid is 400 kuna. I'll let you figure it out for yourself. So there's a bill, as you can see. So, the Kivana in the restaurant in Lovran. I'm going to start with the negatives. First of all, greeting and seating didn't exist. I literally found my own table, uh, then waited quite a while before I got the attention of a waiter or a waitress. Uh, when they finally arrived, I asked for an ashtray, never got the ashtray. In fact, didn't get the ashtray all through the whole meal. Um, yeah. Plates were cold as well. Food served on good, on hot food served on cold plates. It doesn't do it, especially if you're eating al fresco. The food just goes so cold, so quick. Um, I had to wait about 10 minutes for my spoon for my soup, which did eventually arrive. But by then the soup had gone cold, and okay, it was all right. But the soup was lovely. Um, on the positives, great food, absolutely divine. The seafood, amazing, fresh. Uh, the soup just taste the freshness in the food, in the seafood. Um, you know, the people
people, really friendly, really nice. Okay, service was slacking, but generally speaking, they were really, really nice people and very friendly. Um, there wasn't a service charge chucked at the end of my bill, which I enjoy, which I like because I never pay it anyway. I think it's disgusting when they do that. I think it should be your own uh, jurisdiction as to whether or not you decide to leave a tip for the service and the food. Um, so generally speaking, yeah, I've given them. I'm going to give them between seven and a half and an eight. Uh, for, for, for today's meal. Uh, basically the, the service did let it down and at the end of the day I'm a paying customer. You know, I try to be as fair as possible, but when you're a paying customer, there's no excuses really. Um, so yeah, between seven and a half and eight, which is still pretty good, pretty good, you know. Be pleased with that. I mean, the food itself was fantastic. So yeah, uh, the Kevrana, Kevrana in Lodran. This is Chef Travels, I'm Kevin Harrington, thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.